Hello everyone, my name is Andrew Briggs, and today we have a LEGO Ninjago review, LEGO set 70672 Cole's Dirt Bike. Now this is actually one of the new sets from the Season 11 Sea Constructor of Britain's Jitsu, and these are actually, as of the time I'm reviewing this, the, uh, these sets are not available in America. So, we'll get everything out the way so you can see the box. <coughs> So as you can see, uh, nice box right there. You have kind of close bike, um, and then you also have Kai and the Pyro Viper. And you can see right there, all the mini figures this set comes with Cole, Kai, and the Pyro Destroyer. On the back, you can see there are just demonstrate some play features. And right here, you can see some Japanese writing. Obviously, this box right isn't made in the US because uh, it's not out in the US yet. You can see it has a nice stud shooter feature and just another scene in the top right. So, yeah, without further ado, let's get to the review. So, starting off with the main premises of the set, where we have Cole's dirt bike itself. And right off the bat, you can notice that it actually does not have a front wheel, but rather a front tread. So that's just made up of like 26 separate treads. And then these little disc things right here are just the normal Technic discs with stickers on them. So there, there's one on this side and one on that side uh, to keep it symmetrical. Moving along to the side, you can see in the middle, there's a nice flap with Cole's little logo on it. You can see it's also printed on the top of this helmet. As well as a stud shooter mentioned on the box on the side. So you just shoot that, it shoots off, and you have to go find your stud that you shot. It's got a nice big rock piece right here. And then on the top, you can see it's got uh, three flaps almost. But those just hold the swords up so you can raise them up, put, put one down, put two down, put them all down. Doesn't matter, it's really all for the looks. And again, everything we just reviewed is on this side too, keeping it symmetrical. Moving over to the cockpit, as you can see that there are two studs in there, which is just enough room for Cole to either stand, so just put him there, make him stand and pilot the bike, or you can take him off. And there's just enough room on the back, including his armor, for him to sit down and also pilot the bike. I prefer standing personally, but you know, there's enough room to do both, which I'm happy that they included. Then there on the back, there is this nice hinge piece connected to another hinge piece for the flag. And that flag is just a black spear with this white piece on it, which has two stickers on both sides. Now moving to the back side of the bike, there's actually a really interesting thing they did for the back tire. Now you can see, uh, before we get onto that though, you can see it is connected via some simple Technic rods, both sides once again. But the wheel itself, here's how it looks, here's how the whole bike looks. But the wheel itself is something very special. So here's the actual wheel that goes on the dirt bike itself. But actually taking it apart, this wheel is made of three pieces. And the actual main part of the wheel itself is just a big rim. There's no tire piece that, or wheel piece that usually, go in, usually goes inside like other Lego sets. It's just the big wheel rim. Now what um, this new way of Ninjago has done is it introduced a new piece. Uh, I'm not sure if it has an exact name, but it's this piece right here. And you can see uh, it, it creates the outside of the wheel. So when you put it on, it creates the outside of the wheel. And it also has a small indent to create the inside as well. So you would take your piece with the Technic studs. You would pop the wheel over that, as you can see. And you can see the Technic studs as well as the little indent in the middle kind of create the inside or the wheel that would usually go in there and then you would just line up the other piece like so and there you have it the new kind of 
wheel style. I don't know if they're going to be using this for other waves or only for Ninjago, but it is a very nice addition to the Lego piece set. And yeah, as you can see inside it just creates a small like frame of a wheel and also has a nice gold accent to it as well. So here we are with the minifigures. Starting up first is Cole, the main star of the set. You can see automatically that he does come with this black and gold color schemed um, hammer, which has the nice dragon hilt at the bottom. And here is its relative size to Cole himself, a little bit bigger than him. And once taking that off, you get a better look at his uh, printing which is a simple kimono with a nice strap on it, as well as he does get a uh, nice orange belt. His ninja head wrap is all black with an orange strap with the little uh, symbol for the letter C. Taking that helmet off, you can see he, has, he still has his Ninjago movie face with the mad version and the happy version. Taking that off, and turning him around, we do get a better look at his new armor piece, which is just, it has one hilt, or not one hilt, it has one uh, place for a silver katana right there. And then taking that off, you can see it has a nice shuriken printing on it. And then Cole's back printing is just a continuation of the strap from the front, which includes some rock climber hooks and then a nice little satchel for some utensils. Next up here we have Kai. And once again, like Cole, he has a dragon hilted weapon. This time it is a golden sword though, as you can see right there. And then the way they did this was just using the normal dragon hilt and then a normal katana with the super small end and just combining those together to make his dragon hilt sword so it doesn't look too big or too awkward moving that sword out the way though we get a nice view of Kai's torso which has two straps on the top right and one on the left he's also got some bandages on his knees and a full red wrap with a dark red strap on top with the symbol for the letter K. Taking that helmet off, you can see just as well as Cole, he still has his Ninjago movie face with the mad version as well as the happy version. And taking that off, he does include the same um, armor piece that Cole does with the katana and then the shuriken indent. So no reason to re-review that. Turning to his back printing though, it is just a simple, or the, the simple straps from the front come together at the bottom right, and they have a nice little fire symbol right there. Now the last minifigure um, of the set is our Pyro Destroyer. Now these are one of the Pyro Vipers, the main zones of the season, and they do include some nice bronze weapons, including this kind of tilt, or this kind of curved sword. <laughs> And a nice little bronze shield with a stud in the middle. And that's how it looks from behind, just a little handle. Now the Pyro Destroyer himself actually does have two nice, two very nice new modes. One being the dual moded head. Oh, one being the dual moded head, as you can see. It's got, um, yeah, I'll put it back on. It's got translucent fire on it and he's also got his eyes are also dual molded um, with translucent orange taking that off he does have a nice new armor piece with the two snake shoulder blade or two snakes invented on the shoulder blades and turning that around you can see there's just a stud on the back now to his actual body printing uh, you can see there it's like a unraveling mummy which is also burning on fire, so he has multiple flames on his leg, as well as the torso printing. And then that printing just continues to the back as well. So that's pretty much it for the main figures, and now onto my final thoughts for the set. 
And just before we get to the final thoughts of the set, here is the instruction booklet for uh, his dirt bike. So see, this includes two bags and piece count in the back. No advertising for other sets though. It's just the features of the closed dirt bike itself. But uh, yeah, that's it for the set. And now onto my final thoughts. So that pretty much wraps it up for the review of Closed Dirt Bike. Um, I'm very happy that I got this set early from or earlier than it would be in America. I'm pretty sure these are released in August. So very yeah, happy about that. Overall ratings on the set. I very do much like the build of Closed Dirt Bike and the inclusion of Colt and the Pyro Destroyer. However, I feel like the Kai minifigure um, is overkill for like it's a 2v1 and there's also a cool dirt bike as well as Kai comes in half the sets for this wave um, including the fire and ice side but you know that's that's whatever uh, other than that though really nice set really nice build for the bike uh, really nice technique you techniques used um, on the back wheel as well as the tread for the front wheel and uh, yeah that's pretty much it my review. Uh, if you'd like to see, please like, comment, and subscribe for all things LEGO. My name is Andrew Briggs, and I will see you later. But just before the video ends, actually, I just found this out uh, midway through editing. Um, there is a nice, like the, the way the tactic wheel aligns, there's a nice hole right here, which you can put Cole's hammer in while he's driving, and you can just pop it in that hole, and it doesn't affect way it drives at all and then there's one on both sides it doesn't work with Kai's sword unfortunately but that's just a nice little option that I found out in case you want to store Cole's hammer okay video end